In this segment, we're going to show you how to remove and replace the trim panel on this Ford Mustang GT. Uh, taking the trim off will allow you access to change your window, your door mirror, or uh, inner door locks and mechanisms if you wish. Let's get started. The tools we'll be using for today's application is a T30 Torx, 7mm socket, extension and ratchet, a fiber stick for prying, a trim tool, a small pick tool, and a pair of needle nose pliers. The first thing we need to do and take off this trim panel is remove our mirror cover. To do this, take your pry stick and just get it behind the cover and gently pry. If it popped off, you can pull it back, which exposes our electrical connector for our mirror. There's a little tab on the back of this, just turn around, and all we need to do is push in and pull, pull down. Now we can remove our eight seven millimeter bolts that are in holding the door trim on. They actually go right around the outer part of the trim. So we're going to start and remove uh, this one and work our way to all eight are out. Let's go ahead and remove that. Now that we have all eight of our trim screws out, let's put them off to the side. Next is to remove our two T30 Torx screws. The placement is here behind this cover and another one down towards the handle. To remove this little cover, use your small pick tool, pull the handle out and get in behind it. Just go slow and it just clicks out and set that aside. With that aside we can now see our T30 Torex. Let's get that out. Now, our second T30 Torex is hidden behind this plate here. Same procedure. Use your small pick tool. Get it behind it and click it out. Set that aside. Let's go ahead and remove our second Torex. There it is. We have one more 7 millimeter bolt to remove to take the rest of our trim off and it's hidden in behind the electrical panel here. Grab hold of the trim, get your fiber stick in there and clip it out. Nice and gentle. On the back side, you can see the four placements that would held this in into the four squares. With that out, we can now go ahead and remove our electrical connector. It has a little tab here you press down and wiggle it out. Let's set that aside and take out that sun mill. Now with all our bolts out, we can go ahead and remove the trim. Support the trim with your knee, sometimes it helps to push up with it. And you'll have to pull out on the top a little bit, and push up at the same time. With our door trim loosened back, that gives us access to remove our inner door handle cable. To remove that, use your needle nose pliers. There's two little tabs on the back of the cable here. You need to squeeze together and wiggle out. Once that's out, swing it around and lift up. Put that aside. Now we need to remove our door lock electrical. To do this, just press on the tab here and wiggle it down. Last is to remove our speaker connection here. The tab for this one is on the bottom side, so all we're going to do is push up on it and wiggle it out. You can see the tab there. With all our electrical removed now, we can lift up on our trim and take it out. So I want to take a second to show you 
what's holding it in at the bottom. There's two slide tabs here. And I'll just lift up on it. That slot two square holes here. That's why you can't pull this trim directly out. You have to lift up on it first and then pull out. Now with our trim off, this gives us access to the inner door workings, the mirror, the uh, glass, and anything else that you need to service inside the door. It sits behind this dust shield. To remove the mirror, it's going to be fairly simple. There's another electrical connection here with a push tab on the bottom. Just push on that tab and take it out like that. Once that's out, you could go ahead and remove your three nuts that hold your mirror on and service it. To reinstall our trim, we're going to work in reverse order. First of all, we're going to set our slides into our door to hold the trim into place. With that in place, we can go ahead and reconnect our speaker electrical. It only goes in one way. Slides and clicks. Our door lock electrical, same thing. Only goes in one way. Clicks in. Now on to our inner door handle cable. To put that back in, just slide the little handle part. Before we go ahead and put our trim into the final position, we're first going to take out our locking rod cover here. It just makes it easier when we place the trim back over top of the locking rod here. To do that, we just go on the back side. There's little tabs there. You just press on it and pull up. That's it. Okay, take one second to place your window uh, electrical through your hole so we can connect it after. And make sure that your uh, mirror connection's out of the way too. Bring your trim back up, lift it up. press it down into place. With our trim down in position we can go ahead and reinstall our locking rod cover. Much easier now to slide it over and push it down. Let's go ahead and reinstall our 7 millimeters. With our trim back down it's easier to reinstall our cover for our locking rod. Let's place it over and click it in. With that in place we can go ahead and reinstall our 7 millimeter bolts. Okay, here's our first 7 millimeter screw. Just nice and snug, don't over tighten. And now we can replace our T30 Torx. Okay, first let's put it in by hand. And snug in with our ratchet. Now for our second T30 Torx. Next is to reconnect our window electrical and replace our covers. Grab the pigtail, can only go one way, click it in. With that in place, we're going to line up the guide pins with the holes and shove into place. Next is to replace the cover over our Torx bolts. Again, this hooks down there and then presses in at the top. And our last cover, same, it's got little push tabs on there. Just go nice and easy, really can only go in one way. Now to replace our eight. Okay, to replace our seven millimeter bolts here. It's not to over tighten these, it's just nice and snug. They don't really hold a whole lot. Next is to replace our mirror cover. Grab hold of your pigtail, 
click it in. Line up the guys. Click into place. With a little time, a little care, and a little knowledge, you too can do the same as the professionals at a fraction of the cost. From us at Autobody Tips, thank you for watching.